Welcome back to our channel guys. In today's video, we are going to be taking you on our journey as we make our way to the capital of Namibia, Windhoek. So, what are we saying there? <laughs> I think you'll have a deeper voice now you slept outside. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna sound like, uh, What's his name with black jacket and black hat? Morgan Freeman. No, oh, the cowboy. Rip. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> we made it through the night. It was pretty tough. I ate a scorpion at about 3 a.m. <laughs> so last night, Andy decided that we were going to sleep outside under the stars. Yeah, it went pretty well. It got pretty windy. So we were up until about 2 a.m. and then it died down. Also, we actually went inside and got the mattresses from the car, from the sofa, because just weren't sleeping. And we were, I think we were both debating getting back into the tent. But when we got the mattresses, it was pretty nice. And every time you wake up, you just see a shooting star. It was pretty cool. I'm trying to think of a way around it to please the boss because I knew she wouldn't give me clearance if I just put it straight outside. <laughs> oh, so is it your sofa, but you wrapped it in a Yeah, case. I put it inside my bivy bag. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's the way. Very decent. Yeah, put it in your bowl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys look really cute. First ever ready, I'm like, you dead. So we're having a very relaxed morning at camp today. We had a breakfast and all the boys have just gone off to try and forage for some more wood. The nature's just doing some laundry. <laughs> I've baked some cookies and they're just cooling off in the fridge before I actually put them on the fire. And now I'm gonna make some more falafel. I made some the other day and they've been so nice to just have a quick lunch or snack. So while I've got some time, I thought I would do some cooking. So the other ones I made were the cannellini beans, which were a bit easier to mash. Yeah. So Are I'm those just, chickpeas? Yeah. I would have I've never thought to do this. I never really follow recipes. No, I don't. I so, feel like it kind of takes the fun out of it. Yeah. Just mash it up and then I'm just going to grate some sweet potato, chop this up small, add in like some seasoning, and then I put some oats and flour in it so it's not too like wet. Yeah, it's so freaking cool. <laughs> They're shallow fry. Well, I'm going to fry them off so that they're like crispy on the outside, but then you kind of want them to like bake through. Yeah, sizzling. Uh, we're making a pizza oven earlier and after the third version I think we've nailed it and we've got the flame actually rolling over the pizza cooking it from the top as well and Chloe's done a fantastic job of making dough and now we're topping our pizzas and cooking them Oh, 
that's gonna cook in minutes. Oh my gosh, look at it. Wow. That looks amazing. You only put water in it. It's good about what parts you're going to have in the slate. So I can Oh my gosh. How's the base? Very. Mm. I'd say that's, that's perfect. Very good. That's pretty perfect. Oh, I. It's a bit hot, mate. <laughs> Good. That's perfect. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my Didn't gosh. need any more of that. Yeah. Stud, studwick. Go steady. Oh. Yeah. Paggy, have my biggest piece. I won't lie. Yeah, it looks I won't lie. Good. It's in. The nature's cooking, Andy. Good. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Stick that on your stone. Okay. To the left. You might need to push your crust to the end as well. That was a nice flip. Let's see. Yummy. Mm -mm. We spent a couple of days at this beautiful wild camping spot before hitting the road and making our way to Solitaire. So we've just left Solitaire on the way to Windhoek and we are crossing the Tropic of Capricorn which is a nice little mile marker in our journey heading north. After driving through the Valley of a Thousand Hills, we started to make our way towards Vinduk. We're in Windhoek now, the capital of Namibia, and it was time for me to do our second oil change for the trip. So we've made it to British 4x4, which is run by a British guy um, and they specialise in Land Rovers. It's been recommended to us by a few people on the road. 
I just drove in this morning and they got the car on the ramp straight away to give it an oil change. Other than that, there's a little bit of knocking in the steering that we're trying to figure out. We thought it was a ball joint in the drop arm, but it doesn't seem to be that. So. Morning guys, so this is our third day in Windhoek. You saw yesterday that I got the Landy serviced and we are now here at the off-road centre. Um, it's about time we finally had an air compressor fitted, so we've gone for an ARB compressor. And the guys here have kindly said that we can fit it in the workshop, so that's the plan today. So this is the unit, it is actually comes in a box, but we're gonna take it out of the box and the plan is to hopefully If it fits, fingers crossed, in here with my battery. Because then we can use the rough parts seat box locker for the switch and also um, the quick connection will drill into there so we can get to it easily without having to take any seat boxes off. Yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So I noticed there was a lot of dust coming in the seat box and the battery was very dusty and a few other things were getting a bit ruined under there. So I've taken the time to, you see the compressors mounted here. I've taken the time to clean it all out and actually seal it all with some silicon. Um, hopefully it's just gonna protect everything a little bit better. And we actually found some nice rubber matting to go in the bottom, just so the battery's sitting on something a bit softer, because I noticed, even though the battery's clamped down, it still shifts around a lot, and yeah, hopefully this is gonna be really nice. Where's that going? Nice. So unfortunately my phone died yesterday when we were finishing off that installation, but um, we've just left the off-road centre in Windhoek and we're going to show you what they've done. I'm so impressed with the installation that Timo, one of the guys, did for us. We had the air compressor fitted in the battery box uh, and a few other things like a Anderson for a solar input. Um, yeah, it looks amazing. The battery box has never looked so good. No, it looks so good. And the uh, switch is down there and it's really going to make the most out of the um, rough parts little cup seat box cubby. So we're going to show you guys that when we're back to the car. <laughs> 